Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack here. First off, for titillating tactical Starfield gameplay. This is part two of the Entangled mission. This is the part where everybody gets all confused. Uh, myself included when I first did this mission. Uh, we are on our own now. Up to now, we've been escorted by the various uh, staff members of the Nishina Research Facility. As soon as we go through this distortion, we are on our own. And we have to basically navigate a hellacious labyrinthian puzzle of locked doors and blocked passages as we go back and forth between the real world and the wrecked alien world. And we have to um, deactivate three lockdowns, okay? Now, important thing to remember is the architecture between the alien world, or the wrecked alien world, and the regular world is exactly the same. It's not like you're warping to some completely different location. Whenever you go through a distortion, it's the exact same architecture in the exact same room. It's just that stuff is different. You know, some passages are blocked off, and some doors are open and stuff like that. And some, you know, security cameras are active and turrets are active. But other than that, it's the exact same thing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to guide you through this. I've got it memorized. I've got detailed notes on my laptop. But I took the trouble this morning. Okay, I've been at this for five hours. I took the trouble this morning to run through this about, I'd say about at least half a dozen times. Maybe more. To memorize the entire route. Okay, so that I wouldn't have to keep looking back and forth. To my laptop. In fact, my laptop is closed now. I'm doing this without notes. Okay, I'm doing this entire from, entirely from memory. All that to say, I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up um, because I put a lot of hard work into these real walkers and I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up to help support the channel. All right, so let's get busy. Um, I'm going to reload all my weapons. Okay, my loadout. Um, this is what is going to be doing most of the work, the lawnmower. Uh, basically, it's a modified maelstrom. And I got a boomstick here, the Ash to Tamer. And I've got uh, a sniper, the Mag Sniper. And I've got um, the Special Experiment A7 Shotgun. Okay, those four weapons are going to be using. And it would also help if you got some, some mines. Most particularly, some cryo mines. Okay, and a good supply of meds and injectors, just in case you get poisoned by the aliens. So I got both. All right, let's get busy. First thing you're gonna do, the objective marker points towards this distortion here. This is carrying on from my um, Entangled 1 video, okay, part 69. Here's where we left off. Here's where the main staff of the Nishina Research Center is. And our next objective is to take the elevator. All right, that's where we're picking up. So basically, you don't take the elevator. You use this distortion here. And that's confusing right away. Use the distortion, get some ammo. Now you take the elevator. As soon as you get off the elevator, you're gonna take another distortion off to your left. So it's distortion, elevator, distortion. Okay. So you just take this distortion, you're going to get a warning about security, something or other. The security lockdown there you go. is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals. Okay, so now we have a quest marker right there. We have to get through this room. If you have master lock picking, you can get in through this room, but even if you do have master lock picking, it's a lot of use to just simply use this distortion. Okay, so we're going to warp back into the wrecked alien world. This is Raphael's world. Okay, so now the door is open and we can go in here into this room here and pick up the Nishina Particle Lab keycard. Pick this up and any loot that's here. 
And like I said, the worlds are pretty much exactly the same. It's the same architecture, same room. So you can like, many times you can double loot. Okay, so let's go through this door here. There's a security camera. Keep, uh, remember that. Loot here. Loot here. I'm not going to get all the loot. I'm just looting some of the stuff just for demonstrational purposes. Okay, so don't take me to task for missing stuff. Okay, so from this point, we got the security card there. Look for this distortion in the corner. Use the distortion. And we're back in the real world. Whenever you go back to the real world, hunker down and use your scanner. You're looking for security cameras and turrets. Okay, and we got um, a scan trail. See that the arrows there? I'm going to call that a scan trail henceforth. Okay, so we're going to use our newly acquired key card to open this door here. Blow away this turret and blow away this security camera. Having done that, we can now double loot. We can go back here. This is where we picked up the key card. You don't need another key card. You get some more credits, get some more meds, and just like, you know, double loot everywhere you went before. Get some more meds out of here. Get some more stuff out of here. Okay. Having done that, we can go to this door here, which is also opened by the key card. Open it. And we're going to go down the stairs. Okay, so we got a security camera down there and a turret right here. Blow those away. Alright, this way is blocked, but we can go this way through this door. This way is blocked, but we have a distortion beside these two gray barrels. That's your marker, two double gray barrels. Use this distortion here. Now the door here is open, so we can go through the door, and they're going to be using sense star stuff throughout this. Okay, so that that's my power that I've got to quit, so we can find the aliens. Okay, so I'll always use that. Whenever you're in the alien world, you're going to be using that a lot. So here we have the quest mark is right there. It's leading to a broken terminal, so all we have to do is find the distortion point in here. Warp back to the real world and that terminal will be active, but also the, the security cameras and turrets will also be active. So there's the security camera there, and can you destroy the security cameras in advance? No, you can't. Just demonstrate that right now. Okay, so basically you want to use this distortion, hunker down, and we're going to destroy that camera. Turn off the uh, flashlight. Okay, that'll keep robots from spawning and rushing you. And there's another turret just around the corner here. There we go. If you don't do that, a whole bunch of robots are going to come in here and rush you. Maybe another turret over here. No, we're good. And now, the terminal is, we can use it. Go to security system, override lockdown facilities, click on that, and you have overridden the lockdown, okay? Back out you go, you can go to here, remote alarm control, I'm not really sure what this does. I've done this so many times, disarm. I'm not really sure if it does anything. Anyways, I always do it because, you know, it seems to help. <laughs> For what it's worth. Okay, so having done that, Get yourself some meds, loot, and uh, yeah, we'll take that. Okay, we're going through this door here. Down this way, and you're looking for particle accelerator, that doorway right there. Ignore that distortion. Okay, and um, yeah, be advised that there are a ton of distortions in this run that just lead nowhere. You take a distortion, it goes to the alien world, you find another distortion, it leads you back to the real world, and you just keep going in this loop. So the game is setting up a lot of those, what I call fake distortions, which just go nowhere. Okay, so be advised of that. Follow my instructions exactly, and you won't get lost. The security right? lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals. Okay, so we get a new objective. Override the lockdown, the accelerator section. Accelerator section. Okay, so ignore this. 
go down the stairs here we're going to go into the huge accelerator section lab if you will it's right down here lots of cameras and tourists to destroy in here so walk softly and carry a big stick first camera's right there and there's another camera right there but it's hidden behind this this railing here so you can't get access to it make sure everything's reloaded especially your boomstick because if you blow it um, robots are going to rush you there's a turret right up here that you can kind of there's also a camera right above here Let's see if we can get this turret here Nope, and there's another one over here. There it is, right there. Okay, in here, all you have to do, if you just want to speed run, all you have to do is get to this distortion, I don't know if you can see it, right beside that cleanup sign. See that cleanup sign and the distortion there? That's all you have to do. But I usually like to gun down everything in here. So what I'm going to do is just going to run upstairs, suck at the robots to come out, and come back down here, hook up my boomstick, and just wait for them. Here we go. Bombs away. Who else? Who else wants them? Here we go. That's it, there's usually two. And there's a security camera up here. Throw that away. And... I'm taking damage. Everything's going so well. Unable. Repair not possible. So there's actually three bots. Okay, no biggie. Here's that turret. Somebody's burning my ass. Okay, so, like I said, all you have to do is get to this distortion beside the clean up after yourself sign on the east side, right, of the accelerator section. Use it and turn to the left and immediately run down through this emergency door right here and you can use this as a choke point to kill all the aliens if you want you don't have to yeah, you sense star stuff don't go down there yet Yeah, I want to farm some uh, sealant off these aliens here, so... That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so once again, nothing has changed. We're like, no, well, nothing has changed. We're in the accelerator section. It's the same accelerator section. Here's the two security cameras we blew away. We came in from that direction down below, but it's all full of debris now. But it's pretty much the same. Okay, so remember this act, this distortion point right here. But well, we're going this way to the north, and I have been poisoned. So let's go down to A to find some injectors. Take one of those, and Chewbacca is all better. Okay, so we're going through the emergency doorway to the north, and you're going to find the hole in the ground. Look up your boomstick, and 
pepper this area liberally with your boom stick. Use ten star stuff to make sure it's clear. Once it's all clear, you can go down here and get the key card and some supplies. Okay, once you got all that, you can leave some other stuff around here if you like. And I'm not going to bother with this. Having done that, from where you picked up the key card, just do an about face. Go through this distortion here. And this will put you up top. Strike that. This, this will spawn you in the same spot. And you can go collect the same stuff that you got before. This is another key card. See, so it's some more double looting here. And you can loot that again. And now we have to get back to the, the wrecked alien world. Also, there's also some. Uh, oh, these are the pretty penny. Let's grab those. And I wonder if they were available in the wrecked alien world. Let's find out. Go up here. Distortion. Let's go back down. Yes, they were. So, more double looting here. good. Okay, so that's how to double loot. Take the distortion and now we're going to take the stairs up. Now we have to get through back through this door into the accelerator section. So to do that, we use this distortion and we're basically just going to retrace our steps. And remember I told you about that distortion across the other way there? You're going to use that one. Basically we're in the accelerator session, section. You could use any distortion in here. You could use that one over there or this one over here. Let's use this one. This will put us back in the normal world. Hunker down. And be advised that when you do this, cameras will respawn. So, take that guy out. Take that guy out. Take this guy out. We are now, we have the utility closet key card and the utility closet is right down there. This should be pretty safe. I don't think there's any going to be any boss here. So let's go down to the bottom floor and it's in the south west corner. There it is right there, utility closet. Okay, southwest corner on the bottom floor. And we have the key. Pick it up. Get the goodies. And we what we need to get to the terminal over there. So we have to use this distortion to warp back to the direct alien world. To punch a hole in the wall. There we go. And here's the terminal, but the terminal is broken, so do an about face. Use this distortion to go back to the real world. Hunker down, use your scanner, look for crit cameras and turrets and whatnot. I believe there's just a camera just around the corner here. I blew. Okay, so here come the bots. There it is right there. Well, I don't have it perfectly memorized, but I have it fairly memorized. <laughs> okay, we're good. Now we can use the terminal. Security system. Hit that override. And we're good. Okay, now we have to get back out into the accelerator section. And you remember in the alien world, there's a hole in the wall right here. So just simply use this distortion. 
that will punch a hole in the wall. We'll get back into the utility closet. But this way is blocked, so now we have to go back to the real world by using this distortion. And the doorway that we opened previously using the utility closet keycard is now open. We can go back into the accelerator section, and now we have to get to the accelerator control right there, which is me going up here. Let's turn off the flashlight. No, wait. And we have bots and everything patrolling this area again, and the cameras are active. So let's just sneak up here. Commentary is throwing off my timing. <laughs> right in the nuts. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, so we gotta get down there. There's the security camera there. Typically a couple of bots spawn there. Um, let's see if this blow up shit, see if we can make a little trap for them. <laughs> Insert diabolical laughter. <laughs> yeah, right here. Come to Papa. Oh, the bugger jumped over. There we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> System failure. Guess I did it one too many times in practice runs, so now the game's hip to this. <laughs> I ain't falling for that again. There's a camera right there. There's a turret right there. And we're good. Now we can use the terminal. Override lockdown. And now we get to get to the lab. Okay, now that door opens, but that's not the way you want to go. You should have a scan trail now. Scan trail will lead down to the access tunnel. Should be fairly safe. Okay, so just follow the scan trail. It may take a different different direction, but it'll go to the same eventual destination, which is the access tunnel right there. All right, that would be in the east corner. So you scroll through this doorway here. If you look all the way down to the end, you see another door marked access tunnel, but it's blocked. But we have a distortion right here. So we're gonna use this distortion to punch a hole in the wall there by switching to the alien world. Switch to the alien world. And there's the hole in the wall. And this part here, it's like this long tunnel. It's best to just speed run it. So make sure you got all your alien Weapons ready to go. Flashlight on. Use sense star stuff. And then just speed run. Straight through here. Hang a right at the end. Straight down through here. Hang a right at the end. Spam jump your way up here. Look for the ramp going up. Go all the way up. And from this point here, you got the high ground. You just easily gun them all down if you want. Want some XP because they never come up here. 
fucking use your boomstick for on a little blow up shit. As you can see, it's just rife with creepy crawlies. Having done that, optionally you could retrace your steps and go back down and there's a hole in the wall here where um, there's a chest which may or may not have some good loot. Sometimes it has good loot, other times it just has total crap. Let's see what it has this time. Down in here. Oops. <laughs> crap. Okay, so... That's why it's a waste of time, mostly, to do that. Okay, so let's go back up. One time I got really good loot out of that chest, though. Okay, back up the ramp. Hope I'm not confusing it. And, um... You're looking for this distortion beside these three multicolored trash slash recycling barrels, okay? Blue, yellow, and red. Use this distortion right here. Hunker down, turn off the flashlight, scanner up looking for turrets and cameras because we're back in the real world and we're good okay next you're looking for this fire extinguisher here and this distortion beside it don't use that distortion instead you're gonna go through the hole in the wall beside the fire extinguisher and down this way And our new objective is simply get to the lab, but it's going to change to um, override the lockdown in the storage facility. Um, there is some cameras and whatnot in here. There's a camera right there. And I blew it, so I'm going to have to get ready for bots. Here we go. <laughs> damage. Hey. Really no. Okay. More turrets and whatnot in here. There's a camera there's a turret right there. And there's another turret right here. And that should be it. We're good. Okay, so now we're looking for a distortion point to the east, right there. Right beside the little steps here. Take this distortion point. Back to the alien world, hunker down, turn on the flashlight, turn around. And at this point, you're looking for these two little steps here. And there's lots of this there's a distortion point down there. Just ignore that. The quest markers down there, just ignore that as well. You look Looking to the the east through this doorway here, and you'll know you're going in the right direction because you'll find a radioactive pool in here. Okay, through here, step in the pool to make sure it's radioactive. Yes, it's radioactive. <laughs> so you know you're going the right way. And you're going to take this ramp up here. Alright, take the ramp up to the top. Once you get to the top, hang a left. And you're looking for a hole in the floor right there. Get your boomstick ready. Use sense star stuff and get ready to pepper this area liberally with some blow up shit. Okay, 
Come on, Ath. Here we go. Alright, having done all that, you should now have a scan trail. The scan trail will lead around to the right. There's your scan trail, follow the scan trail. Leads around, keeps following. You're gonna find a spacesuit workbench and some supplies here. And the distortion beside the spacesuit workbench. Use the distortion beside the spacesuit workbench. Controls are available on designated security terminals. Okay, we have a new objective. Override the lockdown in the storage section. This is dead easy. The, the terminal is right there. So all we have to do is just make sure that there's no um, cameras peeking at us or any turrets around. And then just use the terminal. And it should be fairly safe. And once you use the terminal, this door is going to open. And I see some first aid there yet. Yeah. All right, security system, override lockdown, hit that. And back to the objective, get to the lab, hunker down, get your sneak on. Looks like we got some ammo over here. This is worth, this is not worth it. Okay, so we're back on camera and turret alert. There's a couple bots that are gonna spawn. There's one in that container there and then another one in that container there and there's some cameras and turrets around the corner which are kind of hard to get a line of fire on I always get busted but um, let's see if you can uh, surprise these guys with some cryo mines if I can manage to get around the corner without getting busted easy watch it now watch it easy easy there's a turret right there Okay, still hidden. Pretty sure there's a that can there it is right here. Great, so now we can lay a trap for the uh the bots. <laughs> All right, let's lay out a couple of uh, cryo mines here. Cryo mine. Switch over the boomstick. Insert diabolical laughter and run towards them. And they didn't spawn because I think I effectively took out all the turrets and cameras. Dang it, that's the most fun part of this grin. Huh, okay. <laughs> For once. <laughs> I wonder if I can set him off by being spotted by a camera up here. So we're going up the ramp here, and there's a distortion at the bottom of some stairs up here. Now let me just reload here. Oh, see him. There we go. Hey, that other guy should be frozen. Hey, you got frozen. Ha <laughs> ha. Damage. Ah, uh -huh, you got frozen, didn't you? <laughs> I would love to take the time to to like perfectly stealth this entire run, but um. I'm running out of video projection time, so I didn't have time to do that. It took me like five hours to re to memorize the run, but uh, to memorize the exact location of every camera, I'm almost got it down. But as you see, I'm, bl I'm blowing in my cover sometimes, so I, I would love to be able to to take the time to do that. I probably will. 
Okay, so we're going up this ramp here. And there should be a camera and a turret. There's the turret right here. And we're going for this distortion right here. Because we need to open that door leading to the stairs right there. So all you have to do is get to the distortion, use it, and that will open this doorway here. And flashlight on. And we should be home free at this point. Yep, we're in the main, the bugs, the bug zapper room. So once you get here, we're going to go through this doorway and we're going to get a new objective. And I strongly recommend that you back up and save the game here. Okay. Here we go. We got a new objective. Back up and save the game. And this is where I'm going to call it because what happens next, you have a choice. Okay, so let's save the game. Now, basically, you have a choice at this point. You can save Raphael, you can save the Nishina research team and kill Raphael, or you can save both of them. Um, just for demonstrational purposes and for those of you who are just want to get be done with this mission and you don't care about saving both of them, I'm going to save Raphael. That's the fastest way to complete this mission. Okay. But then next video, I'm going to show you how to save both of them. This is the... Um, the choice that was given to you by the director um, previously that um, this was covered in part one of the, my part one of part 69 right did entangled part one and she gave you some choices um, this is the choices that she was talking about okay so I'm gonna save Raphael and the other choice that probably won't cover well let's save Raphael okay so basically we have to turn off our new our new objective is Disengage all the power interlocks. And there's seven of them. And there's a bunch of aliens here. So just recommend gunning down all the aliens first. So you sense star stuff. They're gonna come up. Um, the Papa. Okay, and let's just keep gunning until there's no more movement. There's some buried aliens buried under the ground there. They won't ever come out. Okay, so all the, uh, what are they called again? The power interlocks are clearly marked by quest markers. All you have to do is go to the quest markers and disengage them. Okay, disengage. one back there. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, okay, I got them all. Now you have a new objective, shut down the probe. Basically shut down the bug zapper, I call it the bug zapper. And this will save Raphael. But all the team, the research team in, this, in the Nishina research lab will die. Okay, so now you can take the artifact. That's it. New objective, speak to Raphael. And now, um, all the switching back and forth is uh, pretty much over, so it should be an easy task to find it. Just go towards the quest marker. You won't get a scan trail, but just go generally towards the quest marker, and you'll find Raphael. The quest marker will switch, but just keep following towards the quest marker in um, a logical manner, and you'll find Raphael. There he is. You're back. I wasn't sure if you were alive or... Or if you were going to come back for me. I mean, not that I'm not grateful, but why? Why not stay in that other universe? Well, uh, I don't know. You, you needed me more than they did, I guess. I... yeah. Yeah, I do. It's not much, but I scrounged up a few things you might still be able to use. You're welcome to anything else you find lying around, too. No one's going to miss it. And as for me, I owe you. You ever need Damn an engineer? To you. Just say the word. Now, let's get off this damn rock. Okay, so note that we got paid 20,000 credits to complete this mission. If you save both universes, you get paid 33,000 credits. And I'm currently at level 77. That's a level amount of cash. Okay, so... um. The rest is pretty straightforward. Let's go straight out of here and you get back to your ship. Okay, so there's your ship. We just like, you know. There you go. So for those of you who just want to be done with that mission, fastest way to complete it. Those of you who want to make the most money and you want to save both worlds, we're going to roll back to the save I made. And this is kind of a rigmarole, a complicated rigmarole, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And I'm going to cover this in the next video because I want this to be in a video of its own with its own video title. Okay, so coming up next, how to save both Raphael and um, the other guys. By the way, if you want to save the other guys, there's a third option. You can save the other guys and, and kill Raphael. In order to save the other guys, what you have to do is go out here find a distortion point and then um, you have to, um, where's the distortion point? Is this guy behind me? You guys are harshing my buzz. Doing a walkthrough here. Here's the distortion plane. Use this. Okay, this will take you to the robot world, but this door will be locked. Now you have to gun down the robots and the turrets. Flying.
Hang on, reloading. No fair. Okay. Bam. <laughs> okay, having switched to the real robot world, it's the same thing. All you have to do is just disengage all the locks and then turn out the bug zapper. Maybe I'll just for demonstration purposes I'll do this. there. You're harshing my buzz. Okay, we got more bots on the way here. Dude. Got them all. So this is shut down the probe. There you go. Shuts it down. Now we can take the artifact. Okay, and we have to speak to Director Patel. Security incident resolved. The security lockdown has been terminated. And here we do have a um, scan trail. This is called the scan trail. Welcome back. Ethan, how are we doing? Research levels back online. Definitely some damage, but it could be a lot worse. We will have to replace a few robots. Yeah, yes. that's for sure. <laughs> that's a small price to pay, all things considered. This is a lot to take in. Artifacts, multiple universes. Look on the bright side, dear. Just imagine the papers you'll publish. If anyone even believes this. I am curious though. Why did you decide to stay here? With us? Oh, just for demonstrational purposes. <laughs> uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Maybe so. Still, it must have been a hard decision. No, not Our really. Our next supply ship will be arriving soon. I'll have a full report ready for them. For now, I'd like to extend our gratitude and what compensation I can offer for everything we put you through. Thank you. This has been a truly remarkable experience. Oh, you get 25,000 for this and you get some legendary gear? Huh. This is the first time I saved these guys. What? You get the legendary gear if you save these guys too? Huh. Alright, so this seems like the only benefit because um, you also get the legendary gear if you save both of them. 
So it looks like the only benefit for saving both of them is more money. Okay. My bad. I thought that was the only the only way you could get that legendary gear. Well, I'm going to do the save both guys run anyways. That's coming up next video. So I'm just going to roll back to... Where's my save here? The other one? That's the first time I saved those guys. I usually, usually save Raphael. Well, I saved Raphael once, my first playthrough. And then hence, after that I always save both of them. Um, which is what we're going to do first thing next video. Right, so there you go. Complete tour at the end of Entangled. Thumbs up for the Slackser for doing it entirely from memory. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. Alright, coming up next, I'm going to show you how to save both guys, okay? Both Raphael and the team in the Sheena Research section, and um, you'll get the legendary gear, and you'll earn more money. Alright, that's coming up next. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.